Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best aftermarket car stereo this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these aftermarket car stereo, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality aftermarket car stereo according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Pioneer and Dash Car Stereo Receiver. This single DIN stereo unit gives you hands-free calling and audio streaming ability. You can connect your phone to the unit with the built-in Bluetooth. You can also use the USB port, aux in port, or slash FM radio. You can connect your Android smartphone through the front USB input port and stream music while also charging. A standout feature is that this unit is compatible with Android Open Accessory 2.0, AR 2.0. It also has built-in amplifiers for a crisp and clean sound. Hook this stereo up to the rest of your stereo system with the RCA pre-out hookup and have even more power. Unfortunately, the microphone is a bit weak in this unit. This can make it hard to use the voice commands. The installation instructions are also not intuitive, making it hard to install it into your car. Moving on to the next and number two with Jensen MPR210 Multimedia Single DIN Car Stereo Receiver. Enjoy the seven character high resolution LCD display on this single DIN stereo. With a simple touch of a button, you have Siri and Google Voice Assistance at the ready. You'll appreciate the upgraded Bluetooth for hands-free calling and music streaming. You can also use the USB port to stream music and charge your device. It also has an slash FM tuner with 30 channel presets. What's nice about this stereo is that you can customize the sound of the music you're playing with two band tone controls and four preset act curves. The downside of this stereo unit is that the lights on the display are overly bright and blue. This makes it harder to drive at night when the stereo is on. It also has an extra large flared outside edge. This affects the size of the unit and can make it not compatible with your vehicle's dash. The number three position is held by Alpine Ute 73 Digital Media Receiver. Give your car stereo a modern look with this bright blue single DIN unit. It comes with a Mach SM slash FM tuner that displays RBDS information. It can also play FLAC, MP3, and WMA audio files through the USB port. You can use this stereo with your iPod, iPhone, or Android. It's compatible with Android AR 2.0. The high contrast LCD display makes it easier to read and lets you choose the color of the display to match the rest of your vehicle's interior. You can fine-tune the sound of your music with the built-in three-band parametric act and high-pass slash low-pass crossover. One issue with this stereo is that it can Bluetooth sync simultaneously with two smartphones. The problem with this is that it will stop playing music from one phone to answer a phone call from the other. This may not be how you want it to function. The controls on the unit's face are also small and can be challenging for those with larger hands and fingers. Next at number 4 we have Boss Audio Systems 660 New Hub Multimedia Car Stereo. This next generation single DIN stereo unit has an illuminated LCD display with dancing lights and a mute function. Use the built-in Bluetooth feature to make and receive calls hands-free. Play music through the Bluetooth, USB port, aux in port, or in slash FM tuner. You can also connect this stereo to your entire sound system with the front and rear preamp outputs. You'll have plenty of sound with the 50 watts and 4 max power from the 660 new up to power. What's nice about this unit is that it comes with multiple wiring harnesses, installation hardware, and a remote for easier installation. Unfortunately, the microphone isn't powerful, making it difficult to use voice commands when there's ambient sound. This is made more frustrating when there are a limited number of bugs and they are small in size for alternative functionality. The number 5 position is held by Pile and Dash Radio Receiver System. This attractive radio is a 12-volt marine radio, but that makes it durable enough for use in vehicles that are open and going off-road where the radio could get exposed to water. The stereo is a standard single DIN size. It comes with Bluetooth built in for streaming music through your iPhone, Android, or another Bluetooth-enabled device. It also comes with a microphone for hands-free calling. The face of this unit has an LCD display, USB port, aux in, SD slot, and M slash FM radio. This unit comes ready to connect to the rest of your system with a radio antenna socket, RCA audio output, 
and wiring harness port. One drawback of this unit is that the installation instructions are complicated. It can be more advanced than what the average car owner can do. Thankfully, there are several videos online to help you. The number six position is dominated by Kenwood Car Stereo Receiver. Experience high quality sound with this digital media player. It comes with a front USB port, Bluetooth and slash FM radio and aux input. It also comes ready for connection with Amazon Alexa and Spotify. You can customize the illumination color on the face of the unit. A standout feature of this stereo is that you can connect two smartphones at once. It also delivers impressive sound quality thanks to the 6X curves and a 13-band equalizer. You can also connect this stereo to the rest of your system with three 2.5-volt pre-outs. One drawback of this unit is that it doesn't have a CD player. It also doesn't have voice control ability or a built-in microphone. This makes it less functional for smartphone usability. Moving on to the next at number 7 with JVC KD X206 DIB Car Stereo Receiver. Enjoy simple functionality with this single DIN stereo unit. It comes with built-in Bluetooth and slash FM tuner, USB port, and digital media receiver. You can stream Pandora, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. What's nice about this unit is that the face is detachable, so you can remove it when you park and question the area's safety or security. This unit comes with built-in iPod control and two-way iPod and iPhone control. A standout feature of this stereo is the short depth body, making it perfect for installation in vehicles with limited space. Unfortunately, while this unit is compatible with Apple products, it has limited functionality with Android smart devices. The radio tuner isn't as strong as an OEM option, making radio reception spotty. The number 8 position is held by Soundstorm Laboratory's Single DIN Car Stereo Receiver. This single DIN car stereo makes it easy to make and answer calls with the built-in Bluetooth and microphone. Easily control music streaming apps like Spotify and Pandora. This unit stands out because it comes with a CD player and a USB port, giving you plenty of options for how you enjoy your music. It also has an M slash FM radio in front and rear preamp outputs for connecting your stereo to a speaker system. You can then use the built-in equalizer to custom tune your music to the ideal sound balance. This stereo system also comes with a remote. Unfortunately, the microphone doesn't have noise canceling abilities. This can make it hard to communicate when there's ambient noise in your car cabin. You may also notice more static when listening to local radio stations. Next at number 9, we have unit Top Sky Store Single DIN Car Stereo. You only need enough room to mount a single DIN unit in your dash with this aftermarket stereo. It has a fold-out 7-inch touchscreen. This gives you the ability to connect it to a rear-view camera and GPS navigation. It comes with built-in Bluetooth and a mirror link for Android smartphones. The built-in microphone makes it easier to speak clearly on calls. This stereo stands out because it also comes with an ER rearview camera that's IP67 waterproof and has a 170-degree lens. This gives you a completely modern system. It also comes with an aux port, USB, and SD ports. One problem with this stereo is that it won't support the charging of all smartphones. The fold-out action is a manual one and not automatic. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Pioneer and Dash Multimedia Receiver. This Pioneer receiver has a 7-inch resistive touchscreen and built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. It works with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, is serious and ready, and has a built-in HD radio. It also features a 13-band graphic equalizer, a built-in high-slash-low-pass crossover, a dual USB, an SD card slot, and dual-zone capability, so front and rear seat passengers can enjoy different types of entertainment. It has tactile volume buttons and other easy access buttons, and the screen is very good quality. The settings and up on screen controls are simple to operate. The steering wheel controls work well, and the microphone is very clear when you're making phone calls. Also, it automatically connects to multiple phones and it lets you choose the one you want to use. One downside, the installation may be complicated if you're not mechanically inclined. It can also get a little sluggish at times and the glare can be quite bad on sunny days. That's all for today. We upload all types of car accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.